Hi, Internet and Casey. This is Melly and a loud duck with 25 and 52. Uh, I'm recording in Atlanta because that's where I've been the last couple days. And it is pretty great here. The weather is so nice. Um, and so I decided instead of going to a museum today, I'd go to a park. Um, so I'm here in Piedmont Park, which is huge, um, and they have a pond with some ducks in it, and uh, one of them is actually hanging out under a tree like 10 feet away from me that way. It's pretty cool. It's a weird looking duck though. It's got like the red face, but it doesn't look like the regular ducks with the red faces really. The, the, the wings are different. I don't know. I don't know from ducks. I fly back to Chicago today. I am not very excited for that, uh, for that part, for that weather especially. And, yeah. So I toured uh, Emory yesterday and met a bunch of students and some professors and toured the School of Public Health and got talked at a lot about financial aid and career paths, blah, 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 career services, blah, 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 blah. Oh my God, it's so hard to focus three hours in a row while someone is lecturing at you. I remembered this and then suddenly became a lot less excited for graduate school, which I'm doing anyway, don't don't worry, you know, but it's... Especially because um, a lot of the... There, there's this big push in public health right now. I don't know if it's a trend or what, but for people to focus on global health. Um, and maybe this isn't new, maybe this is always like this. But I, it just is not where my interests lie. Um, which sounds kind of crass. Of course, I want everyone everywhere to have adequate health care, but I don't want to be another white American coming in and telling, you know, people in other countries how to do things. Like, that's just my perspective. <laughs> it actually makes me kind of uncomfortable from the uh, angle of. The whole, you know, white people doing service to make themselves feel better type thing. And like, how much of this is actually that and how much of it is actually helping? I don't know. Anyway, um, by the time we got to do lunch, uh, with, that was with the specific department within the School of Public Health. So that was my health policy management. Um, and that was a little more focused on HPM, a lot more focused actually, on uh, HPM stuff as opposed to all the other schools together. Um, and I actually got into two programs here, and so I was sort of spent this uh, this day that day blah, 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 um, trying to decide between them. Um, and it's kind of scary because part of me is like, all right, this is a, basically a decision of do I want to be doing. One of them will put me in a better position to do public health research for I don't know indefinitely. Um, and one of them is more into the practice of public health or advocacy or that kind of thing. Um, and so I think I'm going to make the scary decision to not do the research one, even though that's sort of what I was planning on doing. Um, and instead do like a... I might, I might still end up doing some research or doing like a research sort of flavored uh, policy focused MPH as opposed to a Master's of Science in Public Health. Um, but we'll see. We will see what happens. I still have to go to uh, Seattle and to the school there and see what I think of that one. Um, but I can definitely see myself here. The culture of the school fits me a lot better than North Carolina did, um, if that makes sense. Like, I didn't have the instant falling in love, like, oh my god, this place is so cool, oh my god. Um, it was also less stressful. I also didn't have to interview anywhere. Which I think is why I had less adrenaline through the whole thing. Um, which is good. Like, it's not bad. Um, the focus in North Carolina and the focus in a lot of the applications was sort of on, well, if you know your goals, we will help you achieve those goals. And here it's a little more, well, okay, so as long as you keep doing work in public health or around public health, it'll help you figure out what you want to be doing. Um, and they talked a lot about the different, the huge variety actually, of uh, different uh, internships, paid internships that people do. Um, and so that was cool to hear about. And they, and a couple of students did straight out say, 
I went on one of these uh, experiences or I did this internship and it taught me that I don't actually want to do global health or this kind of work or that other thing. Um, and that is a perspective that had been totally missing from some of the other uh, experiences I had. And it was nice to hear because that's kind of how I, you know, that's how I work. I, I keep doing things and some of them work and some of them don't and I do the things that worked again. <laughs> I think it's better to be realistic about the fact that people don't always fit into the, you know, people don't always end up achieving their goals or even wanting their goals than it is to keep hammering at the goal being it'll fit eventually, you know, like, so I'm going to conserve some of my battery and, uh, edit this and get it online either tonight or tomorrow. I love you. Um, Atlanta loves you. It's a pretty cool city. And yeah, see you soon. Bye.